to a server at Cantor's Deli didn't even know she was waiting on one of the biggest rock stars in the world. But after her experience with Bono, she became a fan for life. CBS 2's Brittany Hopper tells us what the U2 frontman did to make such a lasting impression. Hi there, how are we doing? At 80 years young, Bella Haig has been serving people at Cantor's Deli in the Fairfax District for five decades. But at 3 a.m. Friday morning, just when her shift was almost over, she served U2's frontman Bono and some friends after his concert. Not knowing who he was, Bono asked her to pick an appetizer for him. To the back and I said, this guy doesn't look Jewish, but I'm going to get him the matzo ball soup with carrots and noodles and chicken. Bella says Bono ate the entire bowl. Then he asked her, what else should I order? So I said, well, uh, my recommendation is the Reuben. Bono ate every bit, and then co-workers included Bella in. It wasn't just anyone. This was one of the biggest rock stars on the planet. I was happy to wait on him. He, he looks better, actually, in person than he does on stage. But it was when everyone was done eating, Bella got even happier. She didn't get a photo with Bono, but she did get a $150 cash tip. The biggest tip she's ever received in the 50 years she's been serving customers. It was just like, wow, I lucked out. I was thrilled, surprised it was that much. And this is the booth where Bono sat. A question that Bella is now getting asked a lot. But of course, I had to ask her what she ended up doing with all of that money. She tells me she took her family out to dinner. In the Fairfax District, Brittany Hopper, CBS 2 News. Winter day to Canada. That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> Coming up, a daughter's question.